So where do we even start with today's video? We have plenty of new data mine leaks due to the latest patch. We have new enemies that have been added into the game. We have new weapons, new armor. We have undisclosed changes that were added to the patch too. Today we go through it all. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Now before we go any further, the winner of yesterday's 2100 super credits you can see on the screen. Now if this is you, hit me up on my discord which is linked down below now do you guys want to win 2100 super credits or a copy of how divers 2 is simple liberate this video with a massive thumbs up let's try and reach 35 likes also make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and leave me a comment down below winners will be picked and announced on tomorrow's how divers 2 video so good luck everybody Okay, so let's start with the new things that were added into the game that were not disclosed in the latest patch. No, some of these are quite simple changes. Some of these are cool for changes. Some of them have no effect on gameplay, but they're just nice little additions. But first things first, we have seen at least two different types of enemy added into the game. We have seen both ATATs roaming around the map. We've also seen those flying gunships, which are absolutely brutal. If you didn't know, the Quasar Cannon can one shot these things. So, yes, keep that in mind. But yeah, these are two new additions to the game that we've seen in the past uh, through Datamine files. I mean, we knew they were coming, and now they are here. So, yes, keep an eye out both on the battlefield and in the air. Now, I've also seen two new changes to weapons, or shall I say stratagems. Both the railgun as well as the quasar cannon both now have charge meters on them. The quasar cannon has one on the back of it if you're playing and shooting in third person, but also if you switch to first person, you'll see a charge meter there too. And we also see that on the railgun, it's got a new charge meter next to its scope. So yes, pretty neat new additions. Another nice little addition is if you type within the in-game chat, your Helldiver will now type on his arm. Pretty cool. Also guys, if you manage to extract, you now come back bloody, oily if you survive. I mean, yes, wear those stains with pride, people. Pretty cool change. Now, another addition they didn't actually speak about within the patch notes, but they did confirm on Twitter, is that we now have a new level cap of 150. It was before this patch a level 50, but it is now a 150. What's pretty cool about this is, guys, is the fact that Retro XP seemingly is active. Therefore, if you played up to a level 50 and continued on playing, your character would have earned XP behind the scenes. And now with this update, it will be awarded to you and count towards brand new levels. And this is why players are logging into the game today and noticing they're way higher than a level 50, which is pretty cool too. Me personally, I'm still having major problems even playing the game without lagging out. I actually think i got a PC problem now because there ain't many reports of people still lagging. Not as crazy as I am anyway. So yes, i got to get that locked into. I'm not going to lie. It's currently been about three days where I haven't been able to help spread democracy. So yes, I am slacking people. In fact, I may just buy another PS5 and it has nothing to do with Stellar Blade. <coughs> actually, you might have. <laughs> So yes, with this new level cap, guys, there actually comes new titles. Now, people were wondering what you could actually get for leveling up to a 150. But there's actually some super cool titles you can earn here. Uh, at level 60, you get Fleet Admiral. At level 70, you get Admirable Admiral. Uh, at level 80, you get Commander. At level 90, you get a Galactic Commander. At 100, you get the Hell Commander. At 110, you get a General. At 120, you get a 5-star General. At 130, you get a 10-star General. And at 140, you get a Private. And max level of 150, you get Super Private. So that's pretty cool too. So those are the titles and things you can chase via leveling up. Now there may be other additions to this system in regards to you receiving additional rewards for leveling up. But as far as I am aware, nothing has been confirmed as I make this video. Now before we get onto the leaks of the new weapons and armor, I just want to talk about a new issue that was added with the latest patch. And that is in regards to that fire damage, that burning damage and increasing it by that 50%. It seems as though now that fire damage if you're hit by it is more or less an insta kill on you. 
and I've seen quite a few posts on Twitter, Reddit, Facebook of players complaining about this change. And we'll probably see in the near future some kind of fire damage resistance armor added in. Maybe with a new war bomb, which I believe comes out very soon indeed, like next week, I believe. So yes, maybe we'll see something there. We don't know yet. But this is definitely a problem I've seen many, many players talking about. And it's interesting as I covered a leaked exosuit, which is coming, which also seems to have a flamethrower attached to it. So that's going to do some serious, serious damage for sure. Okay, so now guys, we're going to talk about leaks and these include new weapons, new armors that are not currently in the game. So if you do not want to be spoiled by these, I'd leave the video right now. Okay, so first things first, we have new images of, well, these are actually luminous structures. And what I'm seeing here is actually unknown. They've got no names attached to them. But what I believe we see here, guys, is probably a spawn point. That's what this looks like to me. But you let me know what you think down below. This was dropped on Reddit by a Forerunner Law. So yes, credit to this dude. But this definitely, to me, looks like some kind of illuminate spawn point. It looks kind of like a weird portal mirror kind of thing it fits the illuminate no doubt about it but let me know what you think down below we also see guys new weird giant hole and hole structures these were dropped on reddit by a mouse ttv and it's believed to be the hive lord hole now if you don't know what the hive lord is it was a planetary bus i believe from how divers one and it's a big old morpho you'll see in a picture of it on screen now now it's believed that this what we're seeing here guys is possibly linked to this uh, hive lord but it is real early days as of right now so yeah keep that in mind okay so we now move on to the brand new weapons that have been data mined uh, within the latest patch or so these were new models that have been added into the game with the latest patch and i believe there's like four or five here and actually one of them I believe we have covered in the past and that is the lever action rifle which looks pretty cool. Now reading through a few more details on this, the weapon at the far back appears to be a barrel of some sort of upcoming weapon but it doesn't actually fit or match any current weapon in the game. Now we have seen uh, many, many data mine files that do insinuate that weapon customization is coming to the game. So maybe this is a bow we can switch in and out of another arc weapon, who knows? Now the SMG, the weapon in the middle right there, appears to be an alteration of the Defender, pretty cool. The weapon closest to us looks like some kind of burst assault rifle in my opinion but who knows there's no other details on this now we see two more weapons here uh, the weapon in the back right there that is a plasma based weapon but it doesn't line up with a current scorcher model so it's definitely thought to be something new and then we see the weapon closest to us which is believed to be how divers 2 version of the m216 constitution now this is just speculation at this point the Constitution was a Hell Divers 1 weapon and it's been theorized and talked about for about two weeks now because we saw this weapon quite a while back that this may be Hell Divers 2 version of said Constitution. But who knows guys, who knows? Okay, so we're going to move on to new armor and right now eight new pieces have been found. Some of these are super, super unique. I mean, you tell me what your favorite one is down below. My favorite is definitely the one that looks like a ninja turtle this thing looks absolutely incredible i'm hoping it does come with different color variants that'd be absolutely awesome you can see it's armor passive there's extra padding definitely guys this thing has that extra padding we also see some other brand new cool looking designs at the same time but yeah guys there we have it for eight new armor pieces that are coming to the game sometime soon we don't know exactly where these are coming they could be a part of a new war bond they could be within the store we just do not know but either or as soon as that ninja turtle comes that is becoming mine also this one here which reminds me of a star wars trooper for sure this is coming with me too love it but there we have it guys to so the latest and greatest in regards to how divers too. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.